What's up dudes, it's Josh, and today we're talking about bidets. Now, what's a bidet? It's a toilet attachment that allows you to spray water at your butt. That's as easy as I could put it. Here's the, the logic behind it. If you were to say, take a poop, and you got it on a part of your body. Let me see your arm, buddy. Say you got poop on you. Now, would you take a wimpy piece of paper and kind of just randomly dab at it to get it off? That's not very effective. Nobody's gonna do that. If you got poop on your arm, you're gonna take it to the sink and you're gonna wipe it off and wash it like a normal person would do. Another thing is people say bidets, that doesn't sound manly. That sounds French. That sounds not for me, but if you're a man, you might have parts of, had a nice smooth arm before, you might have parts of your body, specific parts that are hairy. And that is gonna put you in even more of a predicament here. Oh my goodness, it's not coming out. You might have had a lot of hazelnuts and that makes it so sticky like this. The hairier the rear, the more you got to fear. And that's what we're gonna try to fix today. We're gonna try to put in a bidet. Let's go do some stuff. All right, so what kind of stuff do we need to put this together? A towel to catch some water, flashlight to see things, uh, knee pads to not kill your knees, drill and drill bits for those screws you'll see in that little bag right there. You also may need a hole saw if you're going through your cabinet. This one's three quarters, but it just needs to be big enough to pass your tubing through. You could just use a regular drill bit if you need to. Here's my hose. It's three quarter inches, or it's half inch. A split flange. Uh, this is used to hide the, you know, hose coming through your wall. And it looks really crappy, but it's what I got. So we're using it. This is a PEX clamp. This is gonna use, be used to hold the tubing from the inside. You're gonna need an adjustable wrench. Maybe you'll need a pipe wrench, probably not. These little rubber washers are for underneath the bidet seat. It came with a bidet. Screwdriver, uh, it's you know kind of the same as this, the drill. You got your hoses, you got your red for hot, blue for cold for everyone's aesthetic enjoyment. And this guy right here is holding the whole operation together. This is a 3 8 inch compression fitting T. You can see here you got your female end and two male ends coming out. And those are just screw on connections. And they that compression fitting has its own little rubber washer or gasket in there to make it watertight. You also need your bidet. Here is mine right here. You need to look at it and see how many ports it has. These are input ports to get water into your bidet, and sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, depending on what you want to do. Uh, hot, cold, hot and cold mixed together. Whatever your fancy is, I kind of like to split the two streams together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come off of our cold water supply line to the toilet here. We're going to put that T in, and you're going to see how that goes in there. And that's going to feed the cold water to that guy. And then for the hot water, normally you don't have a hot water going to your toilet because why would you? But lots of times toilets have a sink right next to it, so we're going to steal the hot water from the sink. Now technically I could steal the hot and the cold, but I only want one hose coming out of my wall. And here is the hot side that we're going to put the tea on, just exactly like the cold. So most of the day sit underneath the lid here, and I'll show you kind of, they just sit right underneath this thing here. So what we got to do is take these guys off. So all those are going to be different. You just got to know how to do it. Most of the time they have some type of little cap here to pull off. Hmm. Oh, there's mine. Pulled off. Pretty gross under there. Sorry. And the same thing on the other one and oh, just just break them off that's what you do so just get a screwdriver and loosen that up and underneath here there is a wing nut i don't know if you can see that so you just prevent that thing from spinning so for me mine just have these things that pull off 
So it just kind of I have little ears that hook onto there. So there you go. Seat is off. Take care of a day. Those go straight through it. So let's go start with the first one. Drop that down. Drop that one down. And I almost missed this step. This is where those little rubber gasket washers come in. They just slide over there to cushion it a little bit. And here's just a few of the toilet bolts coming through there just so you can see it from the bottom. This is the wing nut going on there and you're going to use a screwdriver on the top to tighten that down. Make sure it's tight. Can't have your butt slipping off of there. Now it's time for the plumbing part. Get a towel and put it down to catch some water. You're going to turn off your shutoff valve to your fixture. Yours might look different from mine. Just make sure your water is off. You also want to flush that toilet and make sure all the water drains out of the tank so it is dry. You are going to take your adjustable wrench and start loosening this compression nut. Remember, water is going to come out, so don't freak out. You got your towel on the floor there, and you got your T going to be put in here, right, coming out the top. So you want it aligned so that that line can go straight through and up, and that's going to go to your toilet, your original toilet line. That can be tightened, hand tightened, and this branch connection is going to your bidet. So this is the cold. I'm using the blue. You can go hand tight with these and just snug them up pretty good. You're going to check for leaks later. And here's the bottom of the bidet with showing the cold side connection. I did not get a video of me putting it on there, but he just screw it on there. So just pretend you saw that. Get your towel ready for the hot side because there's going to be water. And, or in my case, there was actually no water. So maybe you'll luck out. Get your T ready to go on the same way. And this is here I'm showing the gasket that has to be there. I was I realized I was missing mine. I had to go back and look through the bag to find it. Uh, tighten these up and make sure they're aligned correctly the direction you want to go. And there's me connecting the hot back to the sink. Tighten that bad boy back up. This is the hot connection going to the bidet. You're going to need a long hose for this. And then uh, drill like a madman through the side of your cabinet. And you'll notice I did not punch all the way through. I was trying to avoid have a gaping hole and so I went through the other side the pretty side of the cabinet and once that's through clean it out a little bit and then run your hose through it kablam that's your hot side oh and make sure you clean up your mess or your wife may punch you uh, this pex clamp is just gonna go in around the the hose right there to keep it in place Put a couple little screws in there. I, didn't, I don't think I showed that. Your hose, uh, your hot hose is getting hooked up to your bidet, and that is the last connection to your bidet. I put some screws in that little split flange, and it's just a little beauty piece to make it look a little better coming out of the wall. It looks exactly like the flange you see behind me going to the wall here. So this is me turning my water back on and checking for leaks. This is a very important step. Just make sure you... You make sure you touch all these connections. If any of those are leaking, you can snug those up with a wrench. Um, just use your finger. It's really good at figuring out if it's wet or not. Make sure you run the fixtures, run water through them to see, like I'm going to do here. I turn on the bidet to the nozzle cleaning setting, and that sprays water down out of that thing so you can use that to clean it up. But it's just a way to test water going through here. And checking for leaks again. No leaks. It's all good. I will spare you the footage of me actually using the bidet the correct way and because uh, that would be too embarrassing. Um, and I'll sh let you see this. Uh, here's another thing not to do. Do not stand in front of the bidet and turn it on. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me just tell you, using the bidet is life-changing. Once you go to the bidet, you never go back. You, you look at uh, toilet paper and you just throw it on the ground and you say, Get out of here. I'm not using you anymore, except to dry off, obviously. Look up how to use a bidet if you're unclear on that.
And that's it. Enjoy it. And get out there and go do some stuff.